Welcome back to the main stage, folks. We've got the second map starting in just a moment here. We've got Jihun Seo. I see some Zellos fans out there. Um, I bet they're thinking, man, he can do this. He can win this next two. Um, we're about to get this game underway. We're getting a glance at both players. They both said, good game, good luck, have fun. We're ready to go. And you know what? I have to say, I'm really looking forward to this map. Even if it is Paranoid Android, these guys have shown us that they can play some great, great StarCraft Brood War. And we can't expect anything less from the two players that have, have done so well at WCG in the past. The game's just now gone underway. We're going to see um, Zelos getting the color blue um, at the right region of the map, the 2 o'clock location with silent control. Um, starting at 12, the only other spot he could start in. Yep. And, uh, you know, we've seen some, some really interesting play on, the, on this map uh, over the past few matches. We have seen some great rushes. We've seen probably only one real drop. And uh, you know what? I think we're going to see a little bit more turtling. I think both of these players seem to be a little bit defensive. And, um, you know, I think they really want to ensure that they grab the win. They don't want to really take that first chance. I think I think the way that this map is structured, um, I think it's a little bit easier for Terran to turtle. You know, with this, like I said, with that river cutting it in half, um, the expos are. You know, it's it's clear who's going to go where. I think if this game um, goes on for a long time, we might actually see the players fighting over that bottom left expansion, the only expansion that they are technically sharing um, through map distribution. Definitely. I, I'm expecting some great stuff here. And uh, we do have our first building going down, Supply Depot, I believe for both players. And it appears that Silent Control, I think he's a bit faster again. I think he is getting his first building down just a, a little bit quicker than Zelos. And I have to wonder how much he's been practicing his build orders, how much he's been practicing his positioning. Because after watching Reach at BlizzCon look at several replays and practice, 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 practice where he put his buildings down, I think I'm coming to expect that from just about all of the really top Korean players. Just a lot of practice. Well, speaking of building placement, um, in, or at least in regards to that, uh, it looks like uh, Zealous did put that supply depot um, in the corner of his base. Hopefully, um, you know, just see when that first barracks gets over there. We're going to have to wait and see what happens. Uh, we got the SCVs coming out now. The silent control stiff. Excuse me, silent control scouting just a little bit earlier than um, than Zelos did. We've got some scouting going on, and silent control going to reach the base of Zelos first again. So again, seems to be uh, a wee bit faster than than uh, Zelos. We do have refinery down now for both players. They went with the refinery first again, getting their racks second. Uh, that could mean we could see some drops coming from both of these guys, but uh, it could also mean that we're going to have uh, just a, a, a strange strategy coming from either of them. And uh, I, I don't, I'm not 100% sure if we're going to see too many surprises from these guys, but I know Zelos is definitely capable of doing that. Got uh, factory going down now for Silent Control. Silent Control will get his first factory down just about the same time as Zelos. And uh, both these players trying to micro around inside their main bases. We got SCVs doing a little bit of scouting for both players. Yeah, it looks like um, we've got the first factories thrown down, SCV scouting, um, Marines are being made, um, and yes, and now the barracks have been lifted off. The purpose of the uh, scouting SCV is not going to be needed for much longer. As uh, as we all know, Paranoid Android, the players are uncomfortably close, um, probably causing a little bit of paranoia. Um, they're both scouting each other now with the barracks. Um, they're going to see Some what's he doing, how can I counter it. Um, and I'm wondering if they're going to be doing the, uh, the exact same build orders like they did last game. Well, something to note is that we have two Marines for Silent Control, whereas Zelos only built one. So Zelos with uh, just a, a little bit of a mineral advantage to build some buildings. And we've got uh, some more scouting coming from Zelos. Silent Control chasing after the scouting racks with his two Marines, uh, keeping an eye on the, that racks. Uh, meanwhile, we've got a machine shop going down in the second factory here for Zelos. Um, and we've still got, uh, we've got a, an offensive uh, factory, or I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry, we had a, a bit of confusion there. And here comes another supply depot, and uh, we've got uh, scouting racks coming from uh, coming from Zelos. There we go, starport going down now for Silent Control. He wants to get those dropships ASAP. Do you think we're going to see some more Goliaths on this map? 
Um, you know, I'm no Terran player, but I would definitely say that seeing as the armory has been thrown down um, by Zelos, uh, Goliaths are definitely an option. We've got, uh, no, I don't think I've seen an armory go down as of yet for Silent Control. He's going with some siege tanks to start off. That could be a bit of a hindrance versus those uh, Goliaths, but here we go. Uh, Silent Control still getting his units together. We've got Zelos now with the machine shop down, armory down. He's got a second factory down, I believe. And Silent Control going to put down a siege tank on his ramp. We've got a control tower now coming soon for Silent Control. There we go. The control tower is down, and Zelos still chasing after that scouting Racks of Silent Control doing some damage there, getting in a couple shots as Zelos has moved his racks over the water, not allowing his opponent to hit it easily. As we've got uh, some more scout, some more uh, siege tanks popping now for Silent Control, getting himself a uh, position here on the on the ramp. Um, I have noticed now that um, in Silent Control's base we have the starport making and the add-on it looks like i mean obviously the only logical thing he would be upgrading from it is um cloak for wraiths so it's going to be some kind of um one factory tank with some wraiths opening i'm now seeing uh, zello sending an, uh, an scb to his expansion um perhaps Pretty. he's going to get some goliaths that just expand these are actually uniquely different openers from each other and it looks like Nick is right. We do have our first Wraith popping here. Nice strategy by Silent Control, uh, trying to anticipate those Goliath's attacks and realizing that his opponent did not set up a commsat station uh, early on. And we've got a Goliath pegging away at the scouting ranks now. Silent Control should be easy to finish it off. Three siege tanks coming down now off the ramp of uh, Silent Control. Silent Control not going to worry too much about that scouting ranks. We've got the expansions, I believe, coming for both players. Now Zelos going to get his expo down first as we have Silent Control setting up to possibly secure his expo. There we go. Um, important to note, um, from looking at the screens, I do not see an engineering bay from Zelos made yet. And um, no you're not going to be able to detect those cloaked wraiths without towers. Now there's a battle going on in the center of the map. They both met. Uh, tanks shooting each other down. But Cloaked Wraiths! Uh, there we go! I it. Cloaked Wraiths now taking control of Zelos as Silent Control doing some major damage versus those Goliaths. Goliath's going to be forced to run away. And again, no engineering bay or comsat station from Zelos as of yet. Two Wraiths now pegging away at the Goliath of Zelos. Zelos taking some hits here. And here comes the Wraiths. The Wraiths pegging away at those Goliaths of, uh, of Zelos. Silent Control now uh, will try and go after those siege tanks, decloaking the Wraiths, trying to save a little bit of energy, or they could have just run out. Here we go, another Goliath coming down now for Zelos. Action at the expansion of Zelos. Zelos taking some major damage there at his expo, two siege tanks pegging away, and here's the Excellent play by Silent Control. I, I cannot believe this. Uh, he's got the siege tank set up outside of Zealous' base. Um, all right, Zealous counterattacking with SCBs, tanks, Goliaths, um, to try to try to fight off these siege tanks. Uh, hopefully try to save that expansion, because if he loses it, it's going to be a good game. You know, some nice, nice control there by Zelos. He saw the Wraiths still pegging away at his siege tank, mm -hmm. sent over two SCVs to try and repair it. Great job there. Academy going down now for Zelos, so we could see him get some kind of detection going soon. But we still have a Wraith inside the mineral line of Zelos. He's taking some hits here on his SCVs, trying to get them out of the fight, but he will lose one to a Wraith. Uh, we could have a second one going soon. Here comes the Goliath now, going to try and help out. I believe I saw the Comsat station down for a scan, and uh, that's going to be enough to force Silent Control back away from the fight. But he has done some damage, uh, and he has got his expo up. So a nice little, nice little attack there, giving him some time to get that expo situated. Absolutely, whack. And it looks like um, we now see the siege tanks unseaging from Silent Control, um, moving down towards uh, Zelos's base, perhaps setting up for another attack. Uh, this has been back and forth, you know, Wack. Um, it's it's kind of like our first game. It's hard to tell who's going to win right now. Um, I, I, when I see something, I want to say, hey, look, uh, Silent Control's got it, but then Zelos makes it back. So it's going to be back and forth. I am also now noticing Silent Control setting up another expansion at the far left corner of the map. And we've got uh, Zelos running through. We're going to see an SCV doing a little bit of scouting, possibly going to set up an expo. And Silent Control is denied. We've got three siege tanks just kind of hanging out in the middle of the map, setting themselves up in siege mode. And uh, we've got that Wraith still doing some major damage inside the main base of Zelos. Zelos going to uh, get himself... Uh, cloaked here, and there it goes, decloaked rather quickly, ran out of, uh, running out of energy, doing some damage versus those SCVs, and uh, we could have him do uh, even more economic damage here. Uh, you know, interestingly enough, I'm kind of surprised that Zelos opted for the, um, the scanner over the engineering bay. Um, 
You know, it looks like he's trying been scanning, trying to kill that wraith, and um, Silent Control says, "Look, whatever you scan, I'll leave and wait for it to uh, to end, and then I'll uh, come back and hurt you a little bit harder." We got three factories going down for Silent Control. I believe Silent Control getting another expo at the uh, uh, ten or the yeah, I'd say about the ten o'clock uh, position here on uh, on. Paranoid Android. We've got two starports hidden now for Zelos. He's getting himself some units here, uh, trying to keep them out of view of Silent Control. Silent Control uh, getting another factory down. He's now starting to crank out some siege tanks. We're going to see him try and use those siege tanks as best as possible versus those Goliaths. Uh, and we've got quite a lot of siege tanks making their way up towards the upper portions of the map. I think Zelos going to try and see if he can find his opponent's expos. Here comes Silent Control with the scouting racks. He's going to see the units of Zelos going into that expo. The units of Zelos will kill off those SCVs rather easily, doing some damage versus the racks is those Goliaths, or are those Goliaths, and uh, Command Center taking some shots as well. We've got some units making their way over towards Zelos's main base now. Looks and, like uh, a drop, but we don't have the screen on there. It's hard to tell. Um, we got Silent Control's expansion going down, but the tank drop with Wraiths and Goliaths uh, over in Zelos' nice. main. Lots of SCVs dying. Let me tell you, it hurts more to lose a lot of SCVs than it does a command center sometimes. And I'm, we just got a shot of Zelos' face, and uh, it's a look of terror right now. Nice float there by uh, Zelos, putting his racks over some of the units of Silent Control, trying to make it a bit harder for him to select those. And uh, Silent Control has done quite a bit of damage, though. He's killed off, I believe, four or five SCVs, and uh, he's done he's done a lot of damage. We've got a Wraith still pegging away at those SCVs, doing some major damage. And again, I still don't think we have an engineering bay coming from... Uh, coming from Zelos. He's not going with the missile turrets. He's going to try and use those Goliaths. Here comes another drop by Silent Control. Silent Control bringing over four siege tanks. Going to drop them down behind the mineral line. Doing some major damage versus Zelos. And Zelos has taken quite the hit to his economy. He's bringing over some siege tanks to try and reinforce it. Does manage to save it, but he has gotten a few SCVs obliterated. You know, it's been very back and forth. Um, also important to notice the... Um Zelos is hiding starports in the corner, uh, bottom right corner of the map. Um, they're probably trying to mass up some raids, catch his opponent off guard. Although, you know, when you're losing this many SCVs, um, making raids gets pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, it gets, it gets kind of complicated when you don't have resources to, you know, make units. Uh, anyway, we've got an academy finally going down for uh, Silent Control. Here comes the dropships over at the unit stationed at uh, Silent Control's previous expansion. I think one dropship bit the dust there, but here comes uh, Zelos in, uh, behind him with a siege tank doing some damage. Not going to be enough to finish things off. There we go. Silent Control regaining uh, regaining that expansion spot, and he will bring over a command center to try and keep, its, uh, and keep his expo going there. He really needs the money at this point in the game. Yeah, you know, it, it looks like in spite of how poorly Silent Control was doing early in the tournament, Silent Control was aware that there was a high likelihood he would be facing Zelos, and my bet is that he probably practiced Terran vs. Terran more than the other matchups. Um, we now got some dropships flying over to the corner, uh, I'm sorry, the southern expansion um, that Zelos has not yet uh, taken. Um, it looks like he's flying around trying to see, see if um, Zelos is still uh, behind, uh, as he has been most of this game. We've got a spot on those starports, and there we go, lifted off. The Goliath's going to be uh, doing some missile damage to the, one of the starports. Not going to be enough to finish it off, though, as um, Zelos positioning his units at the choke, trying to make sure that he sees no siege tanks or Goliaths come through his happy little zone. Over at the uh, lower right portion of the map where he has gotten himself an expo at the uh, 4 o'clock position here on... Um, on Paranoid Android. We've got ourselves uh, not a whole lot of action going on right now. Both players, I think, taking some uh, precautions. We do have an engineering bay now for Zelos, so he will be trying to get some missile turrets down, and here come some bikes. And um, if you're just tuning in with us, this is Zelos versus Silent Control. Zelos, the world champion from last year, now down one game versus Silent Control, and possibly about to be down two. Let me tell you something, this is going to be huge if he loses this. Um, Silent Control is ahead economically. It's been back and forth. They've been beating each other up a lot. But, um, you know, you got to say, Wack, uh, Zelos is, is in hot water right now. Definitely. Silent Control bringing over lots and lots of Vulture Siege Tanks and Goliaths. Uh, probably about six Vultures or so, uh, seven, and uh, six Siege Tanks. And so, uh, nice positioning there by Zelos. He's going to space his Siege Tanks out as far as he can. I believe that's why we have some Vultures now. 
for Silent Control. He's going to try and get some Spider Mines dropped in and uh, allow his Siege Tanks some opportunity to do some damage. There we go. Siege Tanks biting the dust for um, uh, Zealous. Zealous now bringing over some Wraiths, and the Goliath's going to be brought up here for Silent Control. He's going to do some damage versus those Wraiths. Nice micro going on by Zealous as he tries to outmaneuver the missiles. Now, I got, you, one thing you got to remember about Terran versus Terran is, is it's a very position-based matchup. Uh, it's all about trying to get your tanks in the right spot, trying to cut off circulation. And uh, <laughs> let me tell you something, it's also about killing your opponent's dropships, oh which Zelos is doing right now. Zelos doing some major damage, got a dropship there, almost got two, but uh, Siege Tanks and Goliath coming down for Silent Control, going to force those Wraiths away, and the Wraiths going to take their aim on some of the SCVs at the expo of Silent Control. Silent Control going to bring over some units, trying to reinforce. Nice fake attack there coming from Zelos. He's going to use the opportunity to do some damage inside the main base now of Silent Control, bringing over those Wraiths. We do have a missile bay, I believe. I saw one pegging away at those Wraiths, and Zelos is going to move away from that. Uh, I think he has scouted a wee bit and has seen some units that he needs to kill uh, over near one of the bridges. You know, I'm going to have to say, um, in, in spite of the uh, Wraith guerrilla tactics going on back there, flying around, shooting down some dropships and SCVs, you know, he still has position on, uh, on Zelos. I now see the Wraith uh, attack in Engineering Bay. Do doesn't look like it's going to matter, though, because um, he... he Zelos is going to have to get those two southern expansions secured if he wants um, to attain victory. Something to take note is the ex, uh, the, the expansion bay uh, doing some some uh, flying there and getting nailed by Zelos. He was trying to take that one out with his race. Comsat scan there by Zelos. Not going to be enough though to reach those siege tanks. I think he was just out of range. And uh, he's probably kicking himself for that one, wasting his commsat scan. But he's bringing down some rates now. And uh, as the siege tanks going to jump back up into uh, their regular mode. And we've got uh, the rates positioning themselves at the lower portion of the map. We do have an expo down there now for Zelos. So Zelos with two expos. Here comes Silent Control trying to get some shots in on these siege tanks. Going to move his units forward. Lots of Goliaths and Siege Tanks now for Silent oh, Control. A whole lot of them coming through the middle of the map, doing some damage to that engineering bay, and the Goliaths are going to get hung up at that choke point. They're going to be held back just a wee bit, and uh, Zelos going to take that time to do some damage to Silent Control's flanking force. Now here comes Silent Control, coming in on the flank of Zelos again, and now he's trying to get those Siege Tanks down and finish off that missile bay as well, the missile turret. Um, you know, I gotta say, like I said, Terran vs. Terran is a position-based matchup, and any positioning that Zelos had now, he does not. Uh, we got Silent Control continuing to push through with tanks, Goliath's bikes, uh, destroying all of his units. Um, it's, it's, it's not gonna be a good, uh, good position for Zelos' southern expansion. All, all Silent Control has to do now is move south and, uh, kill whatever Zelos has down there and possibly take this title. This is, this is pretty huge here as Silent Control is now taking the aggressive point in this match. He's bringing over lots of dropships, uh, possibly to pick up some of those siege tanks and possibly reinforce his units. Uh, we've got a dropship on the move, seen by the siege tanks now of Zelos. Uh, we've got some units being uh, dropped near the lower expo of Zelos. Zelos also scouting another expansion location, could be getting another expo going soon. But uh, Comsat scans by Silent Control this time, I believe, on Zelos. Trying to get some shots in on those siege tanks set up in the middle of the map. Zelos still maintaining control of the middle of the map. Not allowing silent control, uh, any kind of containment really. Uh, he's just fighting back with all he's worth and uh, silent control not going to grab the not going to grab the W quite so fast. You know, to be honest, um, I do think silent control was a little bit sloppy back there. Um, wasted a lot more units than was necessary um, in trying to kill uh, the army that that Zelos had. I now see a drop going down in the main of Zelos, uh, Zelos' base by Silent Control, trying to do some damage um, in areas where siege tanks are not. There we go, siege tanks biting the dust, picked up by some dropships, uh, are the Goliaths of Silent Control. Silent Control going to position himself uh, and get nicked by a missile turret. That's going to take out, I believe, one or two of the dropships of Silent Control. He's going to be forced to retreat from the battle, so good positioning with that missile turret. Here comes Zelos, Zelos. Yeah, making his way through the middle of the map, and you can hear some cheering going on in the crowd. That is Zelos' fan club. Uh, I, I gotta tell you right now, look, it, it looks like it's, it's a race back through the middle. Both players setting tanks down, trying to get the right positioning up. Um, Zelos taking the southern uh, left corner expansion uh, up, but now he's just canceled it after it got scouted. It's It's been back and forth, folks, but I'm still gonna have to say, I think Silent Control has just a little bit of an edge. He hasn't been harassed uh, quite as much as Zelos has. 
the 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 fact that Silent Control has been playing very aggressive uh, uh, ensures, you know, the the fact that he's feeling kind of confident about this matchup. He's pushing his advantage as best as he can, making uh, Zelos counterattack as opposed to, uh, you know, doing the counterattacking himself. That is very important uh, for He's the mental state. He's keeping him on his toes. You're Ex absolutely right. Exactly. Yeah. He's not allowing Zelos a moment of breath. As soon as Zelos gets set up, Silent Control attacks someplace else. So he's doing some great guerrilla tactics and doing some major pain to Zelos. I'm, I'm seeing a heavy amount of tank concentration right now by Zelos. You know, tanks are very powerful when they're in siege mode as long as they don't have, uh, um, <clears throat> excuse me, drop ships dropping units on them. And as we did see earlier, um, Zelos, or excuse me, Silent Control did lose a lot of drop ships. Now both players fighting for the left hand corner of the map. Uh, that, that expansion I was talking about, the one that only the, the only expansion that the two players actually share is now being battled for. It looks like Zealous has decided, I gotta get out of here. Uh, Silent Control's army is too strong. Um, you know, I don't think they're sharing very well at they, that. They, they don't get along. They, they just want that left bottom expansion. They're definitely not sharing very well, and uh, I don't know if Sesame Street's going to get on either of their cases, but we'll see. Uh, we've got both players repositioning themselves away from the Expo. I think Silent Control does not want to reveal how many units he has uh, versus Zelos. He wants to kind of keep them at bay and make sure that Zelos doesn't take the opportunity to counterattack through the middle. Silent Control positioning his units again. Uh, Nick mentioned earlier that we had, uh, you know, a, a major positioning war in Terran versus Terran. It's extremely important to get those missile turrets set up through the middle of the map and keep your scouting going and um you know, uh, wow, here comes a whole lot of units now for Silent for uh, Zelos. I, I'm looking at the map right now. It's cut in half, but uh, Silent Control does have that bottom expansion making. Siege tanks now by Zelos uh, trying to fortify um, and take over whatever Silent Control has down there. But it looks like it's almost a stalemate. Siege tanks just barely out of range of each other. It's a very difficult position for Zealous, but Zealous, I, I can tell you right now, Wack, he's, he's in his mind, he's thinking, I, I cannot let Silent Control get that last expansion, because if we both mine out every other sp uh, spot on the map, it, you know, it means Silent Control is going to win as long as he can get the money from there. You know, something to point out is uh, we do have one upgrade to that Arc Light Cannon for Zealous. I think he's trying to take the advantage there with the upgrades. I'm not sure if I saw Silent Control with those upgrades or not. Um, I am surprised. Um, I have not seen star parts thrown up yet. Um, battle cruisers are a very popular unit late game in StarCraft. Uh, very handy when you have tanks below them. Um, it appears that um, both players have decided that economically right now we're going to have to stick with ground units, wait until we can absolutely fortify our expansions and stop uh, having these short little scrimmages over them. We've got the siege tanks of Zelos now being picked up in some dropships. We could see some good stuff coming from him soon. Uh, he's got to pick a point, though, where there are no missile turrets. That's that's kind of tough to do at this point in the match. You kind of have to just guess and uh, maybe throw out a commsat scan. But by doing that, you're leaving yourself a little bit more vulnerable, and uh, you're going to have some less energy uh, for your commsat scans later on. Zelos making his way down to Zelos the lower. Zelos now attempting to take the expansion. we got some dropships, siege tanks, unseaging. Um, if Silent Control loses this, which he might, he doesn't have a lot of units, drops just dropping on the tanks. Uh, tanks pushing in. Trying Great to kill. flank. Great flank coming from Zelos. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, he's going to finish off this expo pretty easily. Here comes the dropships now. Of Zelos sneaking around behind on Silent Control. And Silent Control will lose his security on that expo. Missile turret. Goodbye. Soon to be a command center as well. Uh, I have not seen Silent Control float it yet. He's going to keep it uh, down on the ground and just lose this. This could be a good opportunity for him to attack. I think he's going to use this time to set up an attack. He's setting himself up for an attack here. I am seeing a massive amount of drop ships getting loaded with tanks and Goliaths by Silent Control. I think there's an option for a counter attack and a silent, I mean, Zelos is main. Uh, Zelos has so many tanks at the southern part of the map, he might not be ready for it. Lots of missile turrets going down now here for Zelos. He's anticipating that it, attack. It looks like uh, Silent Control decided, wait, maybe I should go back, uh, rethink my plan, maybe look at the southern spot on the map again. It looks like Zelos moved his tank back up to the um, the northern area that he has secured um, in the hopes of stopping that drop. But Silent Control's already turned around. He's too fast. He's sending SCVs, Goliaths, tanks, and dropships down here to fight back for that southern expansion. Great job there by Silent Control using those SCVs to draw some fire and possibly getting himself 
more than one building at that expo. Getting himself some minerals quickly, and Silent Control is going to back away again, possibly setting up for another counterattack. Something interesting is that he is just backing away from that expo. He doesn't have much room there to stage a defense. There's some close choke points, and it's a little bit tricky for him to maintain that defense. Can you explain why uh, he wouldn't take that time to counterattack and instead secure that expo? Well, you know, it, it's a difficult position that um, both players are in. This, obviously, the Southern Expo is the most important thing going on right now, but sometimes players can put too many tanks there trying to protect it, and, you know, you can just take your dropships with uh, your whole army in it and drop it somewhere else where it's not defended and put it behind somewhere else. But, you know, when you throw up that many towers at your Expo like Zelos did, um, your dropships are probably going to die before the army gets out of him. Right. And, you know, here comes si uh, Zelos through the middle of the map. And it appears he's going for a big fight now. Setting his dropships out front. Uh, going to do a little bit of scouting. Setting those siege tanks down right next to the other siege tanks of his opponent. And some big hits going on those dropships. This may be the final battle, everybody. It may be over soon. Fighting over on the main bridge. I can't tell who's going to win. There's so many units, so much destruction. Um, it appears, though, that now he has cut off circulation to that Southern Expo, maybe going up from the wow. top and coming around back from behind to try to take out uh, whatever whatever he still has there. Zelos cutting off both choke points now from his opponent. He is tired of Silent Control coming in with reinforcements, making sure that he does not get attacked from the flank yet again. Uh, he is just making sure that he gets that... Uh, that lower left expo. Silent Control has had it for quite a long time though. I wonder if that is really going to affect him. There Battle we go! Battle Cruisers! Battle Cruisers Battle Cruisers finally on the map and they are killing Zelos' tanks! Three battle cruisers now from Silent Control pegging away. Are the Goliaths still going after that? Nice attacks here by Zelos. Gonna kill one of the battle cruisers, and the battle cruisers forced to back away. But two have been created. Zelos could be a bit in trouble here as he is forced to uh, rethink possibly a few strategies. Uh, I know he definitely does not want to see more battle cruisers. <laughs> yeah, you know when battle cruisers get in massive numbers, uh, they're almost impossible to stop. But at the same time, if Silent Control doesn't have this expansion being used, uh, which it isn't right now, um, battle cruisers in great numbers are not possible. We've got uh, Zelos still in control of those choke points, but he's not killed off that expo as of yet. He's got three Goliaths and uh, like a billion siege tanks, I think. Somewhere around a billion. One billion, two billion, something like that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Zelos still moving through the middle of the map. Here come four battle cruisers now. Going to finish off these siege tanks pretty easily. And uh, no focus fire coming from Silent Control. More siege tanks coming in. More dropships now. More for Silent Control. Uh, Zelos is going to uh, try and push through these bridges here come the battle cruisers going to reinforce the lower left expo and possibly try to uh, outflank Zelos. Zelos going to take the time to counterattack, sending his units up through that uh, 10 o'clock er, uh, expansion here on Paranoid Android. Uh, he's going to get those siege tanks down in siege mode and finish off a few buildings at that expo. Uh, I, th I think it was a bad move by Zelos to try to attack that far left expansion. I mean, there wasn't any money there. I mean, it's not much uh, use killing a command center that isn't mining from. Uh, too many battle cruisers right now for Zealous to deal with. He's got two Goliaths versus six. Uh, those are not very fair numbers. I'm now seeing the battle cruisers destroying the rest of Zealous's tanks. Goliaths trying to come in and reinforce, but you know what? These battle cruisers have just now got done with a new upgrade. Uh, two zero battle cruisers against um, Zealous's Goliaths. I think it's going to be a good game any second now, Wack. I think so too. Lots of battle cruisers doing lots of damage, chasing those siege tanks off the bridges. Uh, this could be the end of Zelos' WCG appearance. Uh, possibly a really big upset here for a lot of people. And uh, we do have a science facility built off to the top right of the map. Uh, there goes the battle cruisers clearing out that 10 o'clock expo. We've got silent control now uh, in complete control of the left side of the map. And he has that expo down in the lower left back. We're getting a shot of Zelos on the screen. And I can tell you right now, he's thinking, oh my god, I'm going to lose my title. I'm going to be dethroned. It, it, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm in a tough situation. And with this many battle cruisers, I don't blame him. Battle cruisers moving through the middle now here for Silent Control. Silent Control uh, has got about 10 battle cruisers, I'd say, um, setting themselves up in the middle. That's kind of a tough force to beat. And I don't know if Zelos has the resources. Is now two mineral locations have gone down 
for Zelos. He just doesn't have the money and uh, probably doesn't have the gas either to get any kind of a defense going against these battle cruisers. Uh, more battle cruisers coming down now for Silent Control. Apparently grabbing that lower left location and having a few less units than his opponent allowed him to get those battle cruisers a bit quicker. There goes a combat scan uh, now by Zelos, trying to see where his opponent is. He's got about 15 Goliaths versus a lot of battle cruisers and battle cruisers grouping up trying to hide their numbers as Zelos uh, prepares for an attack. Uh, to be honest, Wack, I'm wondering what Zelos' plan is right now. That southern expansion is entirely secured by Silent Control, the only expansion with a lot of money left at it. Almost, I mean, every expansion on this map has been taken. Uh, Zelos now moving uh, his army up towards the northern bridge, but I think he's going over his plan and said he's thinking, how am I going to beat that many battle cruisers, that many tanks, and how am I going to get that expansion? Well, one thing to note is that battle cruisers are indeed very slow. So he might do some kind of a counterattack here where he can hopefully take out uh, one of the main bases of silent control and possibly get something going. But we've got a lot of battle cruisers. Uh, I think that's about 11 battle cruisers there in the middle for silent control. He's uh, just keeping an eye on the, that uh, middle bridge. Uh, and you know what? I, I don't think he's going to let Zelos have it for some reason. Absolutely, Wack. It looks like right now Zelos moving his army back and forth, uh, running out of money right now. I'd be interested in seeing how much money each of the players have, but I can tell you right now, Zelos is probably feeling pretty poor. Zelos getting his unit set up and bringing over two dropships. Um, is, you know, I, I'm curious to see if Silent Control is just going to go ahead and go for those dropships right at the start and hopefully kill those off, not allowing his opponent to pick up any units. That could be a major factor as to whether or not Zelos could win the next battle. But again, a lot of battle cruisers, Goliath siege tanks, and uh, you know what? Silent Control bringing down his own dropship. He's, he's going to try and do the same thing. Uh, great positioning here, I think, by Silent Control. That's something to, to really note is he has positioned his units very well. Absolutely. You know, right now, um, it, it, it's, it's very, very, it's, it's tough. It, it, it's a tough position. Both players are kind of waiting to see what the other one does. You know, if you make one wrong move at this point in time in the game, you lose. All, I think all Silent Control has to do right now is sit back, play on the defense, and wait for Zelos to slowly starve and die. You know, we saw that with Enemy yesterday. Enemy made a, 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 a mistake at a very critical point of the match, and uh, he's going to... You know what? If, if we see that coming from uh, Zelos, then it's going to be quite a big deal. We've got some uh, Marines and Medics I, now. I, 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 we have not seen this. The camera did not focus on this, but we have an important update. I have seen... I see ten barracks made with Medics and Marines. I'm curious, perhaps um, he's going to be using, I don't know, I don't know, just a medic marine to shoot down the battle cruisers. I don't know, maybe some optic flare usage. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I, if, it, if it works, it, it'll, be, it'll be a big deal. <laughs> we could see just about anything coming from these guys. I cannot wait to see it myself. Let's get the crowd going here, folks. You guys ready to see a fight? Oh, come, <laughs> come on, people. Let's maybe go. Not. I don't know. <laughs> I'm ready to see how he's going to use this medic marine, though. We've got uh, Zelos setting himself up in the middle of the map, and he is just uh, making sure that, that Silent Control is not coming through the middle as of yet. He's got uh, about 10 battle cruisers on patrol right now, just seeing if he sees any kind of dropship activity from Zelos. Here come the siege tanks down now in a straight line um, from Silent Control. Silent Control is trying to make his way, and here comes the Zelos. The battle has begun. They're both counterattacking each other. We've got Silent Control using Yamato gun and battle cruisers tanks uh, to attack the southern part but at the same time Zelos sending his entire army um, down up to the north uh, Zelos crazy uh, Zelos going for this counterattack now coming in on the flank of silent control beautiful play here by both players and notice how the Marines are being spread out beautifully Zelos is trying to keep those Marines uh, the the main focus <laughs> The flag on the, with those Goliaths going after the battle cruisers. Look at the battle cruisers getting hit here as the Goliaths coming in on the flank now of Silent Control. Silent Control with some great positioning. He's going to be able to fight it. Good game, Zelos has been destroyed. Silent Control was the champion. 2-0. Silent Control will grab the win there over Zelos and and quite possibly one of the best games I've seen uh, here at WCG since last year, I guess, since I saw Zelos play again. Incredible, Wack. I, uh, <laughs> I have not seen a game, uh, Terran vs. Terran, that exciting in a while. We're looking at um, 
Silent Control thinking, man, I did it. I just beat Zellos. If I can keep this up, I might be able to take the title. That was a beautiful game, folks. And I think it's important for everyone to know we are going to have some Warcraft 3 coming up on the main stage soon, uh, almost immediately after this match. So be sure to uh, stick around. We're going to have some great stuff. And, you know, I, I, I feel a little disappointed for Zellos' cheering section over there. I feel bad, too. <laughs> you guys stay tuned. Keep watching WCG uh, and keep playing StarCraft. Yeah, uh, I, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, some more StarCraft. This has probably been uh, the best StarCraft I've seen. Um, Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 I think it's even better than last year's, uh, last year's StarCraft. We had some great matches there, but wow, several upsets. Several surprise yeah, attacks. Absolutely, and, yes. Yeah. And players trying all different kinds of strategies. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of wondering to myself, um, you know, the foreigners are doing so well. I'm wondering if maybe they can take on the Koreans. Uh, Silent Control beats Zealous, but maybe um, uh, maybe Silent Control will lose to Testy or one of the other good players again that's not from Korea. Well, we'll have to see after the next match. We're going to have some Warcraft 3 here up on the main stage with Bunny and myself. Uh, it's going to be some great stuff, so be sure to stay tuned.